Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Bugs and today guys I'm gonna be showing you how the best ways how to level your gems in the riff. Now I had a picture kind of get a lot of attraction and in those comments I kind of noticed that a lot of y'all didn't know how to level up your gems or y'all having issues with the riffs. So pretty much this is gonna be the best way how to level up your gems and I'll also give you some tips and tricks on a couple of maps that you could pretty much skip in one second and don't even have to play. But yeah, hope y'all enjoy the video. Let's get straight into it. All right, so my first tip, guys, is play with a friend. You're probably saying, oh, is playing with a friend easier? Yes, but that's not the main reason. The main reason why is because every riff, every level that you play, one of the star requirements is literally bringing a friend into battle, as you can see. Bring another player into battle. So I highly recommend that. That is a free star by just playing with a friend. So definitely do that. And this goes into my second and most biggest um, tip for these riffs and how to level up your gem is, do you have to 100% um, all the, the, the levels and riffs? No. All you have to do is meet the um, requirement of 100 stars or whatever the requirement is in the bottom right because this is how you're going to level up your gems, guys. These crates are what's going to give you your gem boosters or not to say gem boosters to level up your um, your gems is right here. Every time you hit these marks, it gives you a crate that allows you to get more gems, which will upgrade your gems. So right here, all I need to do is get 100 stars and that is it. After that, I do not have to touch this. I do not have to 100% this unless you want Battle Pass XP, <laughs> um, which PFG just updated, I want to say two days ago, where now if you do riffs and your every star counts as um, XP, and yeah, so that's the W of China 100%. But other than that, um, for the gems specifically, you don't have to do that anymore. Oh, you never had to, I mean. And like I said, they're all different. So for example, this one says, oh, you need 100 stars. In reality, all you need to do is get to 80, as you can see. And that is it. As you can see, I barely um, got to 80 in these two. Did I even do 80 to these? Nope. I, I have so many gems that I'm still missing out. Oh, this one's 76. But yeah, they're all different, guys. But yeah, that is your biggest tip, guys, is getting those stars on requirements down here to get those crates your third tip is the battle pass you're like what the battle pass what do you mean yes if you didn't notice in the battle pass there's actually gems um boosters in here yeah so again these crates give you the gems that you need to level up your um gem so i highly recommend doing your pvp matches by just playing um again and playing pve playing the rifts because what the rift stars give you um battle pass xp so highly recommend that as you can see there's uh, quite a lot almost in every um you know every 10 there's there's one and i think that was like five gem boosters so highly recommend doing those all right and the fourth tip guys is do your daily rewards yes every day it updates and gives you new daily rewards and what are those daily rewards gem boosters yes guys so my daily rewards now is um techno terror um it doesn't matter what difficulty you play on highly recommend just doing it on easy why is because you just have to win the match you just have to play the match win it and that is it there are five rewards um i only have four because i just did one just to make sure i was correct about this but yeah you play it guys and you legit just get a free gem booster for each one yes so all five of them you'll get a gem booster crate all right guys i just finished one of my levels for my daily rewards and look at that i just got free gem boosters just to level up my gems yes guys so make sure y'all are doing your daily rewards for to level up your gems easily all right and my final tip for y'all guys is make sure y'all do your missions because missions yes they also give you gem boosters i want to say they give you two a day uh, one of them i already completed by doing pve stuff um and then the other one for me it says win two v uh win three pvp games i think they're always different but yeah highly recommend doing your missions also all right guys that's all the best ways to level up your gems let me give you tips and trips on maps that you can skip easily and then the harder maps that i know a lot of people are getting stuck on the best way how to complete those all right, the first time skip we have is um, Universal Mayhem, and it's a jump rope, and any jump rope map, but pretty much you play Superman, and make sure you have his hover emote, and that's it. All you gotta do is hover, and you legit just stay in the air, and the jump rope doesn't get you. So yeah, you can do that on all the um, riffs that has jump roping. All right, and the second map skip is still on Universal Mayhem, and it is the second to last map, and all you gotta do, guy, is SD. Yeah, if you look at the rewards, you just gotta play a certain character and win, and you can win by literally just SDing. You don't even have to play the map. So that's a good trick that you don't have to waste two minutes of just running across the um, board because it literally doesn't matter. All right, the next level tip I'm going to give y'all is in Rift Detectives. So when you finally get to crushing when your gem is level four, um, I don't know what drugs PFG put into Wonder Woman, but yeah, this woman is crazy for some reason. Um, highly recommend playing looping characters like uh, Steve and Shaggy, uh, Superman, or projectile characters and stay in your distance. Also, be careful of the drones. Yeah, make sure you destroy every drone because the drone will one-tap one you. And highly recommend playing with a friend. I didn't play with a friend. I highly recommend playing with a friend. All right, and the next level tip I'm gonna give you guys is in Jason versus Multiverses. So again, when you get to crushing, yo, I don't know what PFG is putting into these women, but these drugs are insane. Again, one, um, not one woman, Harley now. Harley is just on crack. She touches you twice and you die. Again, highly recommend looping characters or distance characters. Play projectiles and just sit back because these characters don't want to die and they will just kill you in two hits. All right, these are gonna be two level tips for this one. It's in Techno Terror. When you get to Insanity, listen. I need y'all to jump her. Yes, level three. I need y'all to jump her. 
Harley just swinging into the air hurts you. Jump her ass. Do not let her do anything. Yes, bring a friend. Bring three if you can, okay? And jump her. All right, and the next one, again, Shaggy, these little clones. Jump him. They juiced my boy up. Jump him. Uh, what The character you want to play for this one is Bugs Bunny. You want to just near as much as possible, throw your safes, throw your rockets. Do as much as possible. For the Harley one, do, do jump her. I don't care what character you do. Jump her, okay? All right, and the last Rift tip I'm going to give you guys about four levels in this one, which is in Surf Up, and let's get straight into it. So when you get into the Sanity, guys. Now, thankfully, this one isn't too crazy. When it says win without attacking your specials, that means win without attacking special, even throwing sandwiches. Yeah, so you literally have to bring a friend for this to work and just don't do anything. And that's how you get that reward and everything else. You know, to do explanatory. Thank God Harley's not broken in this one. But who's broken in this one? IG. Yes, bring a friend. Don't even do this by yourself, guys. Just bring a friend. Um, um, try your best to help him. Um, make sure he's doing most of the work or they're doing most of the work because, yeah, uh, it hurts hitting this guy, even with the high-level gems that I even have right now. Still painful. Um, and then thirdly is the jump rope one again. Just pull on Superman um, and do it. And then here you have IG. You can kind of, um, you know, hover with him. Highly don't recommend it. Just do the tap-tap jump. It's not that hard. Um, and then finally, oh, woe and behold to him once again in rage mode. Again, just have your friend do it. Um, and again, don't do this by yourself. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment anything you know. I love y'all comments. Comment down below if you're having any issues with any other levels and I could possibly help you out in the comments. And finally, if you do enjoy Multiverse's content, hit the subscribe button, guys, and I'm out. Peace. She got a man, she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA because she want to be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find out.